Hello and welcome back to the tomb. Well, we are trying to conquer a few islands and not and well, how are the factions actually doing? Oh, it's not too bad. They're only supporting themselves, not that not that strong. Good. So last time, my wife lost everything. She got her titles absorbed um, by this guy, who is actually becoming rather big. I don't know how big his realm is by now, but it seems. He's doing fairly well. I, let's actually check. Who's my strongest? He is. He carries about... 14,000. 8,000. He's actually quite by far the strongest. He might, actually be, he might become a problem eventually. Thing is, I cannot properly purge my empire. Well, I can, but that's going to take forever. I need to revoke every single title, vassal, everything, everything to myself. And that is going to be a bitch. And that is going to lead to um, a few civil wars. So we're not going to do that. So our castle walls have been built. We'll upgrade them again. They uh, give me more of everything and a little bit more money. So that, well, perhaps this is over time paying for itself. Who will know? Let's see. Nodos and Tribe of Calxi. This is actually called Tribe of Calxi. Alright. I'm not judging. Have they fixed you yet? Nope. Kingdom of the Dragon Isles. What do I need for it? I'm quite sure I don't have enough yet, but um, I am 100% sure actually. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. I need claims on those two, because I don't think I can really take over you. I can though, however, by now declare... No, actually only reclaim more. Oh, that's strange, I thought I had Letla. I do own it. Wait, I don't get the Shore Wars? Hmm. Fascinating. We'll see. Okay, so... When will you be reinforced? That will be in two more months. Yes, just to usurp the title province of Laba. Oh, she... Holy shit. What the hell did you just do, mate? My wife just... Okay, so to look a lot of the good burgers of Pi, the belly able to pay the taxes. Our coffers are almost blah, 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 blah. lower the taxes for your cities. My city taxes are normal, so flatter and soothe him. Fuck off. Which is not really flattering to say. Sir, could you please raise the taxes? Or, I mean lower lower the taxes. Well, fuck off. Okay, sir, fine. I don't mind. Oh, is this... what's happening? Wait, who's declaring war on who? Xenian army. Okay... She just got pillaged, I think that's it. Okay, good. Would be kind of a shame if he got actually got conquered. That would have been annoying. Okay... So, we've built that. How much can we get now? Still that little. Damn it. Um, that will be gone in... Holy shit, that takes long. Um, well... What do we need? Keep gives us 5% more levy. Well, just build it. we got money to throw around. So let's throw around some money. Let's see, trade post... Okay. Right. Um, let's see. I'm waiting for that. I don't really want to declare too many wars right now. Because I'm also mainly waiting on um, our truce to be expiring with him. Can I... Let's see. Nope. That's too bad. Lich, Lich Priest... Uh, skim for the risk too much with my escapades. We'll go suck a melon. I don't really give a shit. They are my escapades. So, five more years before we take another kingdom. 
And then we probably can offer him vassalization. It also means that we get another king that can vie for some power. Which, you know, actually I think it's a good thing. Um, more kings there are, um, the bigger the odds are that um, they fight with each other instead of me. Though that will risk, of course, one of them taking all the power in the world. Well, that just means, actually, it would be a lot easier if there was only one king, because then we just permanently have somebody improving relations with him. Let's see. We have no cavalry to speak of whatsoever, don't we? Um, let's see. Can we... Right. Heavy infantry, light infantry. Oh, we actually got some cavalry. Well, then just up it to the rest of it. News is reached. According to claiming to my title, stood up as a hurrying man for an attack against me. It is a poor. You are a nobody, and you have fabricated a lot of claims. Oh my. Well, that is a little bit problematic. I'll admit. Ugh, I hate that I'm gonna give. I'm, I'm going to give this away eventually. I hate doing that. Ugh. So, you can stop doing that and start doing it over here. Wait, Army of Gorko? You've got soldiers in my realm? Raiders of... Wait, what the hell? Have you been fixed yet? Nope. I don't think you will be, won't you? I don't think you've got any priest that can fix you. Uh thing is, what I am going to attempt to do is... I can make three Merchant Republics out of this, I think, but I will th make the third, or the first, depending on how you look on it, or the second. It really depends how you look on it. A Kingdom um, rank Republic. Because I think I can, I should, and I... You grant. I can give him the. No, no, I can give him this, yes. I might not even be able to get the kingdom title from him. That's actually quite interesting. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, actually, when I think about it, I'm not going to, of course, get the kingdom title from here. Wait, what are you? You're a Saurus. Oh, I haven't seen those guys in ages. I don't think I've ever actually seen them. He's just incapable, but he's an actual Saurus. Spawn pool... Some cheese... I did not know there were actual Sauruses. Huh. Amazing. I haven't seen them. Anyhow, let's skip up building our army here. Let's see what he got. Fort level don't really give a shit. Right new side, level reinforcement rate. Actually, that's will not be a bad thing to have. Okay, um, with that gone, I'll go a bit over here. Okay. Let's see. Can we build anything here? Oh, yes, we can. Don't want it up. Alright, how about you? We give it some castle fortifications, the barracks, which cost me a lot. Actually, I don't have any money. Oh my! I could wage a gargantuan war for just this little piece of land. You know what? No, no, I'm just gonna wait those four years. I am. Um, oh, there's some rebellions here. I'm gonna wait the four years to take all the land I can get from this guy. Um. 50 cultural tech points, yes, we'll be in a small deficit for a small period of time. Attack seems to be, always to be good. I wish there was a proper attack map mode to look at. To see how it... You can click here, you see the relatively spread. For instance, light infantry. We are not the leaders in light infantry. There's somebody who is better at light infantry. There it is. I think that is the highest light infantry. 
appears to be. Oh wait, there's a little bit more. I don't think this is not a really good map mode to look at things. Because um, it doesn't. It only gives one tech, and I need to just click through all of them. Oh, actually, we are leaders in heavy infantry, for instance. Which is, which is always fine. Uh, anyway, I think that should be a better map mode. But I think that is the big advantage in comparison from Secret 2 to EU4. EU4 has got a lot more map modes, a lot more inf information available for the player. I think it's actually I'm just realizing something and I'm a little bit jumping from subject to subject but I ooh, my moon is intensity the last of the people blah I'm getting stressed um, I just realized I'm praising EU4 quite a lot in comparison to CK2 both got their advantages I think CK2 is interesting on the family skill level and that kind of stuff and how you manage your vassals and that kind of stuff it's a lot easier to manage that stuff in my opinion the EU4 here it's a lot more difficult as well as fabricating claims and you can just declare war for the willy-nilly reason in the EU4 like well, yeah, well fuck you I'll, okay I'll take the two stability drop but you know I'm fighting you now I'm taking all your shit which is kinda hilarious when you think about it um, and then there is of course the big one Victoria 2 which is liked by a lot of people and so, and I don't really understand that game yet much. But I do like it. I think it's an intriguing peri time period. I, it's not like I do not understand it. I don't understand the warfare aspect of it. I understand the rest of it. But, you know, war is kind of important, so... Yeah. And then there's Hearts of Iron 3, which I can barely keep myself alive in. But it's something. Um, okay, there it is. Pause. There we go. Where did you raise your troops from? Wow. That is a very big host that you managed to raise. Holy shit. It's less than my total troop count, but it's big. Really big. What? As I said, it's less than I have, so you are fucked. What dear friend? Wait, I shouldn't I be raising Oh right. I can't, these troops will have no use whatsoever. Still, it's nearly twenty eight thousand of these lovelies. Okay, let's cross. Does these mean bridges? No? I think they do actually. That means that there's clear crossing or something. I don't know. Okay, you are panicking. And okay, now you're you're leaving. Okay. We'll attack you. This is plain, so there's no reason not to attack you. There's no combat bonus you will have. And you are dying quite severely, actually. Oh my. There it is, you're done. Finished, finito. Dead. Just cleaning up now. And thank you for your trouble. Thank you for keeping my troops. To give them a little bit of training, so to speak. And now we'll enforce demands and you end up in prison. And we'll banish you and we'll take your thousand gold. Thank you! And come again. Please, with that amount of cash, I don't really mind you declaring on me every couple of years. Okay. That means we could do some building. Nice! You know, building is the one thing I really enjoy doing in this game. That's not true, but it's something I appear to be doing a lot in this game. And we're broke. I really should never become something like a millionaire. I would be broke within a week. I'm not sure actually about that. That's an interesting thing. Well, I have the time to talk about everything I want anyway. Because um, we're not doing that much. As declared, some internal warring going on. Some titles being usurped. Okay. Anyway. Um, I think that would be interesting. What 
would you do when you become a millionaire? And I think that depends on how much of a millionaire you become. It sounds weird, but if you only win one million, eh, you know, spend it. You know, pay off your 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 mortgage, uh, all that kind of stuff. Buy a house or something along those lines. Just spend it, because you will not. There's no use on saving much of it, because you will never make enough money out of the rent that it will be viable. Um, it's not rent. It's an in, in, on your interest rate. Um, it's not well, enough be enough. But if you win like 10 million, which I believe is like the minimum amount of money that you need to live of the um, interest. Uh, I believe it's interest. Um, wow, the crusade fails against some green skins. Pathetic. Um, you know, what do you do? You could just, you know, I say, oh, okay, I'll stop working. I'll just put it in the bank and just live of the interest that I generate from this. Because that is actually, if you only if you got one percent interest, that means you still get um, uh, a hundred. If you got one percent interest a year, that means you get about a hundred. Yeah, from 10 million, it means you get, get 100,000, well, let's use euros, because it's more relevant for me. Okay, so 100,000 euros a year divided by 12 is still uh, quite a lot of money each month, and enough, more than enough to live from. So if I would ten, win 10 million, I would probably just put it all in a bank. You probably need to win a lot more than 10 million because the tax is going to take, you know, um, uh, take at least half of it. You need to win about 20 million and you get uh, 10 million will remain and you need to pay some... Um, what the hell is happening? Uh, you need to pay some taxes over the money. But I think 10 million can net you several thousand a month. It's at least enough to live from. So I'll probably choose that. So I'll never be... Uh, I never have to work. I would only work because I want to work, which sounds a lot more comforting than you know. I need to work um, because otherwise I cannot pay my bills or do anything. Um, you know, if it would win about 40 million, I would just you know spend 20, keep 20 on the bank, something along those lines. Because you see stuff like people winning about 70 million dollars or euros in, in in lottery winnings and I'm like what the hell and then you hear that they're broke within two years and you're like what the hell how do you spend that much money in such a short amount of time there's a few things I can think of that I want really want to buy um, I want to uh, pay off the mortgage of my house which should be really nice save me a lot of money each month so that's one thing I really want to have. I am quite happy with the car I drive, and I, I'm, I'll be honest, I drive a very small car. Um, but you know, it's, it's it's a car. It's you know, it has it has it, it's in needs of transporta transportation. I don't need a big car, so why the hell would I buy a very big, expensive car? So you know, I would be fine on that front. Um, what else do I need? Yeah, I would buy a new computer. I'll probably pay off my parents and my brothers and sisters' mortgage. But, uh, you know, they don't live that expensive. If I would win at least for, like, say, if I had 40 million left, um, I wouldn't even spend a million. So, uh, let's see. A famous Herald's first person to bring the protocol has arrived at your court. He is proposing his services to us and your chamberlain and saying that we can make good use of this man. Alright, we'll take him. We've got the money. And right, you. You have no money whatsoever. Ugh. That means we'll just execute you. Yep. You're a dead man. Do it. So yeah, and you know, you could buy something like a very big house or a gargantuan yacht or all that kind of stuff, but do you really need it? I wouldn't know what to do. I'm a gamer mainly. So what do I want? Yeah, I'll probably buy a new computer. A few new computer screens, some new hardware, probably some expensive chair and stuff. But, you know, for 10,000 bucks, you can buy all the computer-related stuff you can, you can want. And I don't need some something ridiculous as a, 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 a Beamer or something along those lines, which, which really racks up the, 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 the costs of things. Yeah. I think I've I've just lost uh, the initial thing, but yeah, how how do you spend that much money in such a short amount of time? I would 
I, I would just probably start living off the, the 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 interest. I believe it's interest. Is that what you get when you dump your money on the bank? I believe it's interest. But yeah, well, amazing question to end the video with. What would you do if you win ten million dollars or euros, whatever you're comfortable with? Let me know, and um, perhaps I'll uh, respond on it someday. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.